Good morning. I'm currently here in beautiful Bustleton. As you can see outside, it's nine degrees, a little bit chilly, and we're about to get into the day. For all those subscribers, I appreciate you tuning back into Winston Travel, and to all the newbies who are coming along for the ride, please subscribe to the channel. Um, so today I'm gonna go down to the jetty. There's a famous coffee shop, which is ranked number one in Bustleton. And also we got on the jetty, which is 1.8 kilometers long. And it's the longest jetty in the Southern hemisphere. So we'll go check out that. Before we get into that, I'm gonna, as I leave, I'm gonna just show you the amenities here at the Ithaca Hotel, which I pay 90 AUD for. Good double bed, all the amenities that you do need. You got a bar fridge, microwave, instant coffee if that is the way you're inclined, even though I'm a double shot latte man. Trusty toaster, thank you very much. Kettle, unfortunately, uh, to the management here at the hotel, the TV did not work and you got some uh, storage space. So they give you towels as well, but let's go check it out as I leave. quite nice like it's an older style building but it is quite nice so this is what you'll expect so shared amenities but I do like the decor nice style uh, old carpet here beautiful pane windows as you can see His reception. Don't know where he is. Yeah, so we're gonna just check out. Let's leave the key on the table, please. So that's exactly what we'll do. So let's uh, say goodbye to the hotel. And the front is quite beautiful. Quite a nice setting here. As you enter, the sun's starting to come out. It's about 8.20 in the morning. So it's kind of like a guest house, as you can see, with shared amenities. But let's get into the day. Feeling fresh. Got the haircut yesterday. So yeah, no, it's a good, good feeling. The only problem with the mining industry, I reckon if they had a barber up there, they would absolutely kill it. Um, and I just want to say thank you to my mate who loaned slash rented me a beautiful car, beautiful Hyundai. Thank you so much. Great car. All the modern amenities. Let's jump in. So yeah, let's get down to Bustleton Jetty. Let's get that coffee. Let's get into the day. And then we're gonna be heading down further south and just see where the road unknown takes us. But I will camp out tonight. I'm just gonna grab myself a sleeping bag. Obviously that's something I needed to buy on the way, so. We'll do that. And I hope you guys who are living vicariously through my eyes are enjoying the adventure as well. Let's get into it. Can I please describe a double shot latte, please? Double shot latte, yep. and that's a takeaway? That's a takeaway. And just so you know, the Good Egg uh, Cafe has been ranked number one according to Google reviews. I don't know if that's true, but I'll be the I'll be the judge of that. So hopefully it's a really good coffee. Yeah, yeah, it should be. <laughs> All right, double shot latte. You're gonna have to remind me. Yes. Yes, yeah. mate. That's the one. Thank you. Wow. This is my second day. So. It's cool. your second day. Yeah. Oh well, congratulations on getting the job, bro. Thanks. You enjoying it? I'm loving it. Awesome, mate. Loving it. Alrighty, just a name to call. Ah, uh, Robbie. Like Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, yeah mate. Alrighty. Thank you. That's everything. That's that's all, mate. Okay. Uh, take away cup, please, because I'm going to go on the jetty and just go for a walk. So, yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, just on the side, when you're ready. Okay, so we're just going to be a double shot latte. Now, to anyone who knows me, this is my favourite drink. I've been drinking this for the longest time, probably at least 15 years, something like that. Bowl, smooth. Good coffee. $6.50, bit overpriced, but. It is a bigger cup, so at least they give you like about half a litre of milk, so that's a good thing. Back in the car, I'm going to go in the jitty and away we go. Okay. 
So I've made it to the end of the jetty. So unfortunately it's closed, but we'll be reopening in July 2023. So only a couple of months away, I can definitely see myself coming back. They're, they're gonna have like an underwater viewing port, which is like eight meters underneath the water here in the Indian Ocean in Bustleton. And they're gonna have a cafe and all sorts of activities, boating adventures that you can go on uh, from the end of the jetty, which is 1.8 kilometers long. So it's only like another, about 150 meters through this gated fence. Um, but I just spoke to a couple of workers and they said they're pretty excited for what's about to happen here at the end of the Bustleton Jetty. Kind of reminds me of St Kilda Pier, but a lot better, a lot classier. Um, uh, with the fairy penguins that you can see down in St Kilda. Yeah, but yeah, it's good. Glad I came here and we just got to keep on adventuring. Jump back in the car and it's the road unknown. Here in the south of Western Australia, got absolutely no idea where we're going, but let's uh, figure it out, chuck in some music, and away we go. You're gonna give me a toot toot. You're gonna give me a toot toot, toot toot. Oh, there we go. Okay, very cool. The old train taking tourists up and down the jetty. So that, I suppose that's a good family uh, thing to do off the bucket list. So there you go, I just learned something. They got a, I was wondering what these were. I thought it might be for like carry, carrying heavy cargo down towards where the ship's docking, but obviously not. So that's very cool. G'day Andy mate, Robbie. Pl Robbie. Pleasure to meet ya. Uh, we've had, just been having a good old combo here on the Bustleton Jetty, mate. So, uh, what, so what's your job? Like, obviously, you're working here for the council, so yeah, what yeah. do you do uh, on the day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, just on day, just to make sure they uh, basically maintain the jetty, make sure it stays in good nick, make sure it's safe for all the tourists coming out, and uh, maintain, keeping the uh, maintenance up on the uh, on the rail line here when the train comes through, so there's a fair bit involved in that. And, um, yeah, just the uh, maintenance on the jetty, up above the top of the deck here, and then below, underneath with the pylons, making sure that it's all uh, structurally safe and sound and organize it to get fixed or I'll repair it myself so yeah 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 it keeps us busy that's for sure Sorry. all year round bit of, bit of a hard yakka yep. and i just put on the sign up at the end of the jetty uh, obviously there's renovations going on towards the jetty yep so what's that going to entail and what's going to be added to the end of the jetty yeah it's just going to be more of a um, uh, eatery area on, on the end there and a bit of an information area as well where they're going to be um, have exhibits with and functions and uh, that sort of stuff and um, where you can you know buy stuff for food and okay. stuff like that it's yeah it's just yeah it's, it should be good once it's all done it's been it's been postponed for a little while but yeah it should be good once it is finally finished yeah yeah oh cool mate well look uh mate pleasure nice to meet you great conversation great you. and uh great mate great i'm falling pre appreciate it and i'm falling in love with the state of wa as a victorian mate it's uh it's a fresh sea change, mate, for sure. So yeah, look after yourself, Andy. Enjoy yourself. Pleasure, mate. Take right. care. Thanks Enjoy your day, mate. Thanks, mate. See ya. Bye-bye. Lovely conversation with a cancer worker here, Andy. That's what it's all about. New adventures. And I'm loving it. Bustleton, WA, got to check it out. I'm just leaving the jetty. I don't know how I managed to do so, but anyway, I've already walked up and back on the jetty. But apparently it's four dollars to walk up and back, but I've already walked it, so. $4 saving right there, but it is uh, $16 to catch the train up and back. But obviously, I, like unless you've got a family or you're here for touristy reasons, I wouldn't even bother. But um, yeah, so I just saved myself $4. So back to the car, I'm gonna go explore to the road I know. I've got no idea what we're doing, but I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm just here at the Bustleton Visitor Center, as you can see. So if you need all your information, that's exactly where you would go as a tourist. It's a little bit early for an ale or a nice lager, but that's the Shelter Brewing Co. So that's the local brewing company here, Shelter. Those are the beers that I had last night. So, so fun fact about Bustleton, they've got the Neuron Scooters. So that's an app, you download that. So yeah, a good way to explore Bustleton along the jetty. It's quite a long jetty. It's about 10 kilometers either way. So five kilometers one direction and then five kilometers the other. So definitely check out Neuron and it will make your 
I suppose adventuring, if you can't be bothered walking, all that much quicker, efficient, and probably fun. Those scooters probably would be a lot of fun. But uh, I've got the car, so we're just gonna keep on cruising along and seeing what the Margaret River region has to offer. Just in the car, I've been recommended by the information center to go check out the beef farm. So to get a local beer, some cuisine, and also possibly a wine. Obviously I'm driving, so if I do have a drink, I've got to sort of like uh, pace it out over a two hour period and enjoy the experience. So we're gonna head to the beef farm, popular tourist destination, good for food and all the things that I just mentioned. So let's put down the map and head to the beef farm. So I'm just uh, listening to Shannon Noel driving through this beautiful part of the Margaret River and it just like rejigged the memory in my mind when I was cycling through France last year from Paris to Nice. Um, you know, it's like uh, you've got to lift, you know, you've got to rise above all the challenges in life and do what makes you happy despite, you know, because life is tough for everybody, yeah, so even me doing these vlogs, put myself out there on the internet, um, I remember about the halfway point in Clermont Ferrand, you know, my body was cooked, under done, I was um, smoking cigarettes at the time, so I haven't had a cigarette for six months now, so it's really good, but um, just that, that last sort of 12 days and psychologically believing in oneself to get over the line and finish off a task that you set and complete it, whereas in the past I would have said something but not actually gone ahead and completed the mission or completed what I said I was going to do. So, and even me doing things like this, solo, solo traveling and doing a bit of camping, it's uh, good for the, it's good for the soul, it's good for the mind. And uh, there's a guy named Derek Cullen on Facebook. Uh, uh, he says something like, "Healthy mind, healthy body, healthy soul, healthy life." And uh, that's the sort of the thing I'm chasing at the moment with my new adventures here in WA. So, yeah, but uh, the Shannon Noel, that song left, I remember, you know, struggling, but listen to that song and psychologically, okay, I knew I was gonna get over the line. So, yeah, just thought I'd just share that. We've just come past the Kawaramup Town Centre and we've got the Readers and Writers Festival from the 12th to the 14th of May. It's a Lions Club event, so to any keen readers and writers out there, get there this weekend. I'm sure it's going to be a big one of literature, reading, and good vibes, and hopefully double shot lattes. Nah, only joking. Okay, just arrived at the beer farm here in Kowramup. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Bit of a tongue twister, but anyway, we parked it up. So let's put the uh, pause on that. Got my wallet. I'm gonna get out of the car. I'm just gonna just sort of go freestyle on this. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm like, I'm experiencing. So here's the brewery. Anything with the name beer, for those of you who do know me, um, I don't mind the old uh, ale or two, but we are cutting it back as I'm driving. So I'll have one over lunch and uh, let's go explore. But this is, uh, Really cool, so Look at the brew house there, so this is exactly what we want. Sunflower. Maybe they've got sunflowers here. Oh no, it's just art by Holly Ogden. Officially we are at the beer farm in Metri Cup, Western Australia. Let's go have a look. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's about one o'clock now. Beers eats good times. Right up my alleyway. <laughs> Dogs, please be on the lead. Welcome to the beer farm. G'day mate, old and new. Ooh, this is a cool place. On the steps. Ooh, have a look at this. This is a cool place. Wow. Beer kegs, line full of beers, and have a look at this. Everyone enjoying some lunch. 
Oh, look at the views. Wow. So as you can see, beautiful views, green, lush. Plenty of cows in the distance there. Gourmet food. So let's check it out. I'm gonna get one, one brew, one beer, and something to eat. So we'll check it out. See what the beer farm here in Metric Cup, Western Australia has to offer. And they got some goal posts. What if there's a footy around? I might have a few pings at goal. True re reserves player I was back in the day. We'll just have a ping from, you know, 65 out and hope for the best. Uh, Yaz is uh, the bar attendant. How you going today? You good? Good, thanks. Yeah, going all right. Not bad for a Victorian. Yeah. Um, I love a lager. What can you recommend? I've got the West Coast lager. Okay, yeah. let's go, let's go. As you see, you got the West Australian flag and the Indigenous flag up there. Thank you. Thanks, Jazz. Okay, so they've just recommended the Vietnamese pork belly salad. Yes, please. The, the Vietnamese Sing Chow pork belly salad. So it's 28 bucks. Come on, work. Thanks, man. When that buzzer goes off, you just pick it up right Easy there. done, man. Thank you so much for your help. Cheers, Cheers for that. So I got the lager. Let's give this a taste test. Hoppy, crisp. Goes down to treat, and it's also refreshing. It's uh, I don't know if there's a bit of fruit in there, or it tastes a little bit fruity for a lager. But uh, here we are at Metric Cup. There's a dam, plenty of wildlife out there somewhere, and we've just ordered the Asian Vietnamese style salad. So we'll give that a review as well. And I hope you're enjoying living vicariously through my eyes here on Winstone Travel. Okay, here it is, Jamu. Order five. Let's collect that. <laughs> and uh, anyway, didn't expect this, but uh, met a couple of uh, lovely people who work here at the beer farm here in Metric Cup. Uh, who am I speaking to? Tegan. Tegan. I work on the canning line. Oh, canning line. Farm. Okay, yeah, cool. Yep. Lovely to meet you, Tegan. And we've got a Frenchman here. Yeah, I'm Nico. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Um, working in the kitchen at yep. the farm. It's cool, man. Amazing place. Cool. Well, yeah, you know what? Uh, oh, uh, let's do a, a sante or a cheese in oh, Australia. Yeah. Sante in sante. French. Um, hey. It's ironic that I've just come from France. and uh, But yeah, guys, cheers. And So tell a little bit more, like, Tegan, like, what do you do? What's your role and tell uh, at the... Oh, uh, at the beer farm. So basically, I'm just, I'm in the canning shed and I'm just packing boxes and our team here is just making sure that beer is quality enough yep. to send out to the public you know we measure the seams on the beer cans we um, measure the oxygen dissolved oxygen and whatnot and yeah then we pack it all up and the next step from there is to get it sent out to the public that's so cool so it's kind of like warehousing in a yeah beer, in it's a, a very factory sort of style that's awesome working but we get to we got a big music speaker in there we get to listen to our own music <laughs> so that's some right. of the jams that go on get pretty heavy as but, long as you um, got the spotify list and there's honestly nothing wrong with cracking a beer off the line okay the okay line. right and yeah. uh so and mate you're uh, obviously do a bit of uh, cooking. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. you're more like a kitchen hand or like a chef? No, more kitchen hand because I'm not qualified at all. But, okay. Um, so I'm in the section, burger section, and I learn awesome. different section, fryer section, yeah, yeah. Um, all this stuff. And the thing is with beer farm, we got different uh, part of work, like the brewery, the kitchen, the bar, but it's one, it's only yeah. one. And awesome, mate. Call it the, the family. It's, yeah. The, the family, family. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The family, yeah. Pardon, pardon, family, pardon the pun. Yep. Pardon, pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Well, look, uh, cheers for being part of my vlog. No, um, worries, cheers to a, so a to a good weekend ahead uh, and enjoy your food. I know you're about to eat as well. So. Hell yeah. Pleasure. Thank Pleasure you, meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Ah, you What's your name, my friend? <laughs> my name is Manu. Manu? Yeah. Okay, and we've got? Nico. Nico. And Kevin. Kevin, and you're all from? France. Oh my God. No. Actually, not. Not? It's from Brittany, so it's not French. No, Normandy. <laughs> Normandy, yes. Ah, that still counts. No, you can't claim yourself a Swiss. No. Like, we're from France both, and you 
from New Caledonia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, grew, uh, I was born yeah. but grew up New okay. Caledonia. New Caledonia, yeah. Which is next to Australia. It is. Yeah. Yes, and it's very expensive. Yes. Near, near Vanuatu. Uh, yeah. Fiji, Fiji. Yes, close to Vanuatu, and my friend from Newcastle told me they just Numea, the main city. Numea. Numea is the main city. French Caledonia. Yeah. Yeah. It's the twentieth most expensive city to live. In it is. The world. It is, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, it's fucking expensive. Well, lads, um, pleasure to meet you. Uh, yeah. uh, Enchanté and uh, Sante. Sante. Cheers, lads. And Look uh, at this, four ninety nine, four ninety eight. Oh uh, yeah. So any single ladies out there? <laughs> we got a Frenchman for sale from Cash Converters. Uh, he can do it all. He's a good lover. He's a good drinker, and he's a good guy. So yeah. only four hundred ninety nine Australian dollars right there. <laughs> Will actually be your roommate for one night. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, my bro. Thank you so much, man. Au revoir. <laughs> uh, Merci beaucoup to everybody. Thank you so much. Say goodbye. Too easy. Have a good one. Oh, well, have a good one, mate. Yeah, yeah, Robbie. Yeah, Robert. Robbie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank Too you so easy. much, and I love the French, man. I really Thank do. You, I actually uh, really do, so. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. I'll see you next time, man. Yes. Keep rocking out, my bro. Yes. Keep rocking out, man. <laughs> Au revoir. Rock and roll, bro. Rock and roll, Robbie. Nico. Nico. Uh, Nico's place. Nico's so, place, yeah. At Beer Farm. Uh, and, beer Farm, uh, uh, Orange Small. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> beer Farm, Orange Small. So, bro, that's just, cool. Man. Um, yeah, that's through your place for tonight. Yeah, man. Um, just. <laughs> yeah, I don't this know what, this, what this is the say. middle of nowhere, it's man. It's pretty messy because no, no, I don't travel with water, but. Don't explain yourself, bro, work, man. That's so, so, man. You like your hospitality, so, and maybe uh, it's the the Australian French connection because I came through France last year and. Uh, Oh, you got a bar fridge. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, fridge. I got microwave. You can use the cooker if you want. I got bottle of gas there in case. Okay. Um, and just I'm sorry for that because I didn't. No, don't be sorry, bro. Honestly, man. But like the plate, the fact that I got someone to have one beer and uh, chill, I can sleep tonight. And you don't, can also I've got... make the. I made the fire pit. Last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, fire. Perfect. You you can use it. Awesome, man. So I use. Um, all this wood, yeah? yeah it's a dry uh, wood. Chopping wood, yeah? It's dry wood. Okay. Um, so you just cut oh, pieces. Perfect. Go there. This is the wow. stick I use for wood, like everything. <laughs> like. Love it, bro. Bro, you got wood everywhere. You can do That's whatever. It's fucking you need. awesome, man. Um, you, yeah, you got the tank with water. And there. you don't mind if I have one or two beers? It's okay. Oh, no, it's all right. It's bro. okay. It's all right. Um, I got two <laughs> in the fridge if you need. Um, yeah, nah, I might have one maybe. I'll, I'll go to sleep soon, bro. Yeah, no. Um, no worries. Uh, if you have, um, Just you have you have a sleeping bag. Yes, I got the sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah, there. perfect. Um, just the thing is, make sure the light is off when yeah, you man. go to bed. Yeah, um, man. that's of course. If Honestly, you need, I'm just gonna sleep flat on the car. You, you can chill there, bro. Anytime you need, uh, you got power. You got uh, electricity if you need to charge. Are you power. coming home tonight or no? Um, I'm not sure. I'm probably not. Probably, probably not. not. So um, you're saying I can sleep on the couch if I... Yeah, you can sleep on the couch if you want. I used to sleep here, so I just, you know, I can, like... Well, mind. you tell me, if you come back, Nico, if I fall asleep here, if I do, I'll, I can just then sleep in the car. So, That's right. either way, yeah? Look, you can just do that, move the table, because um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty tricky. But just make sure you do, be careful with that. Not even, bro. I can just sleep across long ways. Easy, That's bro. That's all right. Uh, you can put that... You know, yeah, easy. Man. Um, Unbelievable. Just move my stuff away. And, <laughs> Nico, my man. Um, man. This is what That's it's all about, guys. And this is what I say. Live. When I when I say live vicariously, like this is what it's all about, man. Backpacking, bro. Man, this is, my man, uh, my man, bro, my man. Bro, Nikos. What it is? Yeah, it man. is what it is. My like, French, bro. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you because no, thank I'm you, happy bro. to do it. I'm really happy to share. Um, whatever you need. Look, yeah, so for actually, one night, one night. You can use the toilet. The thing is, um, so you got the light here. This wow. light is for outside this okay. way, but I don't use it. Yep. Um, toilet, you can flush with the bucket of water there. Yep. Um, easy. And for full of the bucket, if you need water. Yeah, no, I don't need it, but I, yeah. No, but I show you because the tap doesn't work. Okay, okay. Because of the pump. Like, normally you got the pump here. Right. And the pump doesn't work, so I used to pop, to pick the water from the tank. Yeah. What, like this? Yes. 
in the bucket and then yeah easy. i use the bucket for of everything course, yeah but it's just temporary 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 yeah because uh, the pump have to be fixed you have amazing english my friend um <laughs> thank you nico yeah <laughs> but yeah um just make sure you turn off the light and this is real as real you know, as it gets man you contact me my, you got my contact yeah bro my my, my, my viewers on uh winstone travel will love this content bro yeah because um, you're, you're a given man so that's so, that's so good like i mean it's a, with pleasure i do it pleasure pleasure honestly yeah um when people help me like this, yes, I'm the most happy. Yeah, well, Nico, happiest people. Right? Um, uh, uh, enchanté. Pleasure to meet you, my friend. Uh, it's a merci pleasure. beaucoup. It's a pleasure. Uh, and uh, God bless. And I'll see you down the track. I I'm going to come back for sure. What 100%. time do you think you're going to leave tomorrow? I don't uh, know if I will be back. Honestly, maybe but... eight o'clock or so. All right, all right. So but yeah, I probably won't see you tomorrow, bro. Just so. make sure you you turn off the lights. <laughs> yeah, man. And <laughs> pleasure, honestly, pleasure. Pleasure, bro. That's, uh, you revoir. can use the fire yes, if you want. Yeah, man. Use... Well, wow, look uh, at this. Yeah, you got. Uh, I think you got. <laughs> this is crazy. Everything you need. Yeah, no. The, uh, the like, I need. Thing, I'm sorry for that. I didn't do the dishes. No, don't be spray. It's uh, your house, bro. I got food. You got food as well. I got food. You can use whatever you need, whatever you <laughs> but, want. But 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 looks to me, I got in the fridge. I got yeah. AC standard. They are really light, but it's good. Uh, I got one mixed out. I got some chicken. You you cooked whatever you want, uh, whatever you need. Um, right. Just unbelievable. Man. Yeah. yeah, grab some beers there, but they are not fresh. Um, okay. I will take some for tonight. Yep. Um, okay, man. Yeah. I appreciate that, bro. You see everything like That's whatever, all. whatever you need. You, Pleasure, you just have man. a look, bro. <laughs> just have a look, honestly. Yeah, man. And uh, this, this content is a bro. Man, unbelievable. Look, look, the spot. It's in the, the spot, middle man. of the field with the cows. I got a fucking beautiful sunset <laughs> all the time. Beautiful sunrise every yeah, morning. Man. Yeah. Um, the moon is coming. It's fucking beautiful. Oh my god, man. What the fucking life? Hey, mate. What the fucking Absolute life? pleasure, brother. What the fucking Come life? On, Thank you so much. Bring Thank you. Man. And Thank I'm so happy to share. And yeah. make sure tomorrow morning you close the gate. Yes, I will, bro. 100%. Easy. 100%. It's super easy. Um, super easy, yeah, man. The worst is the first one I show you. Yep. That's it. Cool, bro. And, um, yeah. Okay. Bro. Yeah. Honestly, like. Au revoir, man. I Thank you so much. I don't to use my brush teeth. My teeth no, I'm not going to. <laughs> no. So there we have it. Anyway, uh, signing off. Uh, Nico, I'm staying at his house here in the uh, Margaret River region. And uh, it's been a good day. It's been a fantastic day. French connections. Yeah, Australians, Bia, adventuring, Bustleton. You can also use the pleasure, Nico. And um, au revoir, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm pleasure. Change yeah. my clothes because it's okay, pretty cold. It's okay, man. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll leave you. You do that. Easy, bro. Easy. Yeah, man. Thank um, you so much.